Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. I'm on Eilina. We're going to tap into some messages for your soul right now, for your journey, your spirit, your shadow, okay? Everything that you need to hear at this time. Please do me a favor and hit the like button, Scorpio. Let's tap into the vibes. Let's see what's going on. Surrender, okay? Surrender, surrender yourself. Doubt, okay, you are surrendering doubt. Render yourself to me. Some of you, okay, and forgiveness here. I was just about to say that some of you, this is definitely uh, surrounding a partner, okay? This could be a partner from the past. This could be a new person. Whatever this is, though, I do feel like it, uh, something's bringing you anxiety, and the only way that you're going to be able to deal with this is if you let it go. All right, but let, let's keep going. Indecision, exactly. And freedom. Spirit is saying you can be free from this indecision. Allow someone to show you who they are. Don't anticipate what they're going to show you or what they're not going to show you, right? Don't anticipate them fucking up or, or doing great. Allow someone the space to just show you who they are. That's it. To just lay their cards out and then boom, then you decide. Then you're not ruminating in your head so much. You actually have the evidence. You actually have it laid out in front of you. You're not prying and hmm, let me go get another reading. And you know, it's like, so allow it time. Right? Or if you've already gotten the intuitive clues, acceptance, okay? <laughs> All right, because with that, I am hearing spirits say, you know, if you've been asking for signs and they have been showing up and, and, and we're still in this energy of ruminating, the only thing that we can do is surrender and accept what has been shown to us. OK, we're going to pull the tarot in a minute and get more specific here. Health, because the last thing you want this to do is start affecting you physically. OK, we know stress, worry is one of the number one things that can manifest itself physically. OK. loneliness here okay that could be the root of something maybe something has been shown as well and something could be hard to accept because of this loneliness card here all right and we have humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life that's where spirits wants you okay i choose to focus on the lighter side of life okay i'm here a long journey long journey Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Please give me a two Scorpio's energy at this time, Spirit. Into their energy. Thank you. King of Swords, Three of Wands, and Reverse, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I get it. You want to know that you're the only option, okay? And that they're not out there looking elsewhere. Justice cards. So when you're dealing with a Libra energy or another air sign like Aquarius or Gemini. <clears throat> emperor in reverse okay no 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 temperance on the bottom of the deck and the nine of wands so we there is some healing here okay because there's some serious like i don't want to say paranoia but um mis distrust in terms of trusting a, a partner or a romantic partner here with the emperor in reverse kind of makes me feel like we are fault we could be falling back on um south node tendencies okay which the south node is in libra right now okay one more the eight of wands but you're still trying you, you're still wanting to persist forward in this energy and that yeah five of cups that's scorpio energy as well that's gonna make you tired that's why i feel like spirit is that's why the health cards out that's gonna make you tired okay um yep in the knight of swords because okay okay i feel like some of you scorpio you could be biting your tongue about something i feel like you have already seen something i feel like you did get the signs for something i feel like you're biting your tongue and it, i'm seeing like um this could be coming out as passive aggressiveness as well okay yep five of wands there it is and the hermit card passive aggressiveness okay um okay hermit and the devil I'm hearing you got some grievances to air. 
okay and you might be holding back because maybe i don't know if this is a partner romantic partner you don't want to go through a breakup okay or separate or be going through something alone here so let me tap into what is this going on this energy man. the two of pentacles the knight of cups you feel like somebody's cheating not being honest offering their cup elsewhere two of cups juggling you five of swords being very dishonest you already know okay i'm talking to a very very psychic scorpio Oh, Scorpios, like I really feel that because I, I feel like I'm tapping into you so clearly and you already know, okay? And this is about acceptance. This is about surrender. This is about understanding what's your karma and what is not, you know, so that you can move on in this humor energy of focusing on the lighter side of life. This is understanding that you are never alone, okay? So spirit, what spirit is saying to me at this point in the reading, Scorpio, is that there is no indecision, okay? Even if you have not seen something, that's what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. It's like if this is something where you, you, you feel like you don't have concrete proof in your hands on paper, documents, and files, your spirit is enough. Your spirit is enough. Okay. The chariots, so we're dealing with the Cancer energy. Justice, the Eight of Cups. This is definitely, it feels like a rolling stone. Let's see if I can get some more light in here. Look at that lighting's acting all weird. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, it feels like rolling stone. Yeah, Eight of Cups and the Lovers could be Gemini that you're dealing with. Papa was a rolling stone. Never hear his head for the home. When they die. They use work as an excuse a lot, too. They, like they work in a lot, you know. Four cups in reverse. They could also have a drinking problem. Strength card and the Knight of Wands. Very, very hard, especially when they get drunk or they're under some type of influence. Very, very hard for them to uh, control themselves sexually. Yep, Knight of Wands and the Devil. Okay, could be Capricorn energy. <clears throat> it's like you know this person. <clears throat> Like, you know them, you know their ways, you know that they do this, you know. Do I feel like you're sick of it? Yes. Do I feel like there could be a part of you that actually, you know, really loves this person? Absolutely. Okay. Um, King of Pentacles here. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody who, again, they could be, they could be uh, stable, established. Okay. Um, King of Pentacles almost always kind of gives me somebody who has a way of doing things and is not easy to come up off of that. They're not too quick to want to change that. It's very much fixed earth energy. Uh, it kind of gives like the way things have always been done. Yeah. Okay. It could be somebody who is older than you as well, or there's some type of age thing here. Okay. The magician. Yeah. Seven of cups here. Oh, and the page of cups, the just card. Yes, this person has, this person has a lot of people who have feelings for them. Okay, uh, because they have, I don't know, they, they maybe they have this charisma that they throw around. They're very charismatic. Okay, and very captivating. Justice and the judgment card. Okay, so spirit. How do you want how do you need Scorpio to align? What do you need from Scorpio? How's it best for Scorpio to align? Okay. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Cups. The Fool. Somebody I saw somebody changing locks. <laughs> okay, maybe that's symbolic, maybe it's literal. But with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I don't think that Spirit is advising you to put effort into this right now. Mm -mm. Eight of Cups and the Fool. Okay, yeah. The Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune. You need to... Ooh, 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 ooh. Spirit is asking you to slow it all the way down, if not pulling this thing to a screeching halt. Seriously, I'm seeing somebody like pull back the reins on like a horse and buggy. Like record scratch in this bitch okay ace of swords the six of pentacles yeah 
in the Wheel of Fortune. This is a time of reevaluation. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Okay, this is a time of reevaluation, Scorpio, because the clarity, Ace of Swords is already here. And that's what I hear Spirit is saying, like something you already know. Okay, yeah, Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands. Spirit is saying there is an illusion, though, of, of, of being tied to this or being stuck in this, okay, or tied to this person. Spirit, oh, I'm trying to find my blood. Scorpio, yeah, Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Some of you are going to let out a very good cry because I see something like you've been holding that thing and I'm feeling, I feel like a lump in my throat. Yeah, King of Cups, the Hierophant, the Five of Swords, some of you, because you really, really love this person, okay? And you could have felt like it was going towards marriage or, you know, just something, a deeper commitment with the uh, Hierophant card out here, a more stable commitment. the sun and ten of pentacles here yeah justice in the high priestess yeah spirit is definitely saying that you know and that you you kind of already know what it is that you want to do or that you need to do it's the the after effect you know that is maybe uh on your mind or again just the acceptance of this of the entire situation so give yourself time. The Knight of Pentacles is out here though, okay? So take your time. No hasty moves, okay? So we have the new moon in Pisces, which we're coming up on, okay? In about another month or so, we got to get through Aquarius season and kind of all of Pisces season. But it says, attune to the divine, all right? And then you have the first quarter moon in Sagittarius with believe in your good luck. All right, Scorpio. So it definitely feels like you guys are definitely going to be attuning to the divine. What that tells me is that the signs that you've been getting, what spirit was telling me throughout this reading, like, you know, they know and they've been getting the messages and it's, you know, it's been uh, presented to you already. That new moon in Pisces, you're not going to be able to like not see it. Okay. One of the most spiritual moons probably that we will have shit next to your moon. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I love you. I pray these messages find you well. And most importantly, I pray that they're helpful. Please like the video. I appreciate that. And I will catch you in your next reading. Bye.